The logistics industry needs to rethink carbon footprint reduction. The U.S. trucking emissions are less than a quarter that of virgin plastics. U.S. trucking, including medium and heavy-duty trucks, emits around 417 million metric tons of carbon. That's two N's and an E, and that means 200 extra LBs per TN. 417 million is like 9,477 truckloads. Unless you know how to load from the nose to the kingpin and hide a little weight in the belly, then you're talking about 8,600 loads. But virgin plastic carbon emissions are 2 billion metric tons and growing. That's 45,500 truckloads, over four times that of the trucking industry in the U.S. But I digress. It sounds like a lot. And it is. There's 7.6 billion pounds of just pallet shrink wrap produced annually. And the logistics industry manages to recycle a whopping 3% of that. Seriously. It's an embarrassment. A closed loop, incredibly easy to collect and recycle material, and the trucking industry manages 3%. Check out the impact the logistics industry could make on those 2 billion tons of carbon emissions. The charts from APR, the Association of Plastic Recyclers, the impact of recycling across the board is staggering in all categories, including solid waste. And that's waste that was going to the landfill anyway, and it's still a positive. Carbon footprint reduction of 67 to 71%. For you polymer nerds out there, LLD and LDPEs, the films, the reduction is around 60% specifically. Essentially, if you recycle the plastics used in transportation and used plastic recycled pallets and pressured your OEMs to use recycled content in their products, your impact would be 3.4 times that of eliminating all of your emissions. Contact me. I know a guy. Hey.